They say it's engineered for 30 to 90 second treatments that clear and tone skin, calm inflammation, boost collagen production without the need for gimmicks, chemicals, and needles. Yeah. So again, like that's, that's red light therapy. It does all of those things without the di- without the downsides. However, their 30 to 90 second treatment time is because of the amount of power that this device has. I personally think the short treatment time and the higher dose is is not ideal when it comes to treating the skin. You see, it's like it's like cooking a turkey in the oven. Yeah, you could up the power output of the oven and cook it in five minutes, but yeah, it's probably going to be burns and cause some issues potentially. Or you could lower the dose right down and cook it over five hours, but maybe the power output isn't even high enough that it cooks it. So you do have to find that sweet spot. And it's kind of true with red light therapy as well. Now, I haven't tested the chroma radiant, so I don't actually know what numbers it's emitting. I'm just saying this is something to keep in mind. You don't want to, for instance, treat your skin in five seconds and all that energy is just delivered in one hit because you will do some damage. So at some point, you concentrate the light, you increase the intensity too much that you may actually see negative results. So just keep that in mind.